Good day all, John here from uh, IDK Off-Road. I've been getting a lot of questions about this black paneling that you uh, might have seen in some of the clips in my other videos. Uh, so that's what this video is going to focus on. My homemade custom mag armor for the ZR2 Bison. I'll show you uh, what you'll need to make your own, uh, how to go about doing it, the cost, and uh, the pros and cons, and if I really actually think it was worth the effort. I mentioned in another video that you can buy mag armor for Jeeps. It can run you anywhere between two to three hundred dollars Canadian to get a set for a Jeep. And from what I've read, it's about 1.8 millimeters thick. Big problem is that it's not made for trucks, sadly. So what I did was went online and searched for rolls of uh, car sign magnets. What this stuff is intended for is to slap a, a vinyl of a business or whatever on it, throw it on and use it for pr uh, promotional purposes. That's when I saw it. it came in three millimeter thick rolls, a little under twice the thickness of Jeep mag armor. So I went and bought a roll of it. Uh, the rolls are only uh, two feet wide though, so I knew I'd need uh, to get a big roll in order to cover the whole truck. Uh, I went with the three millimeter thick, 100 foot roll, which then cost me about $180 uh, shipped to my door. I'll put the links in the description in case any of you guys want to get at this yourself. Uh, however, just know that the price may have changed. Cool little thing though is uh, if you want to get super creative, you can put uh, graphics and uh, decals on the non-magnetic side if you'd like. Now that you have the roll, time to start cutting, right? Well, maybe not yet. My suggestion, grab some see-through trace paper or even packing paper will work. Using painter's tape or pretty much anything other than gun tape, uh, start tracing out your templates following the curves of your truck. Remember these three things when doing it. Uh, one, uh, the magnet will bend a bit for sure, as you can see here and here. However, not quite so well on sharp angles like down here. Uh, two, the roll that I found only came in two foot wide lengths. So you're not gonna be able to do an entire door or the entire box with one panel. And three, uh, make sure to stencil it a little bit uh, more than what you'd actually want. Uh, that way you don't go wasting this stuff. And I'll be honest, making the corrections with the scissors is, is really easy. Once you've stenciled out the panel, uh, then you cut out the template. Uh, place it on the magnet roll. I've got some leftover bits, so that's what I'll use for this video. Uh, you can either tape the template down or use a grease pencil or whatever to trace it. Uh, then we get to cut it. I simply used an X-Acto knife and scissors. That's it. This stuff is nice and easy to cut. Once it's uh, cut out, place it on the truck and take note of any corrections you need to make. I simply eyeballed it and used my scissors uh, on the spot, but if you are more patient than me, you can measure. Once the panel is good to go, you can use it to trace out the other side, placing magnet side to magnet side to get a mirrored copy. Both sides of the truck are the same with one exception, and this is where I messed up, the ZR2 Bison logo. Uh, see the angles? Also, if you've got a snorkel, uh, that panel will obviously be a little bit different than uh, the one on the other side. So really, you only have to template one side of the truck for the most part. Uh, the process took me quite a while as I went into it uh, with no directions. It was windy, people were flying everywhere. Uh, it was more or less trial error. But I figure you guys could probably get this done in about three to five hours, maybe a bit more if you're uh, taking your time and being more exact than I was. So here are some super important tips if you decide to go ahead with this. First off, you must scrub and wipe down the truck before starting this and anytime you put uh, the mag armor on. If there are grains of dirt under the magnet, you could end up with uh, scratches when putting it on uh, if you move the magnet while it's down. When placing it on, pick a side and kind of roll it on. If it's not right, peel it off and start again. This will prevent some of the scratches. Uh, secondly, I'm going to save you a little bit of time right here. This spot, the hood, and the mirrors, they are not magnetic, so don't even bother tracing those out. The mag armor won't stick to them. Uh, 
Uh, and lastly, when you're done wheeling for the day, take the mag armor off. Okay? Do not let it sit in the sun for a week. The magnets will melt to your truck and have fun with that. I had it on for about uh, three days straight in warm weather at uh, the off-road event, uh, Valley Invasion. Amazing event. But I wouldn't push it much further than that. So, the pros and cons. Uh, let's start with the good. Uh, the stuff rolls on and peels off pretty easy. Uh, it's cheaper than Jeep Mag Armor and covers a much larger area. Uh, also, you can get pretty creative and style this really however you want. And the big one, protection. Uh, this stuff has uh, no doubt prevented some serious gouges. This door was pushed in hard from a tree in a very tight trail. Uh, nothing I could do but continue going forward. Luckily, the door popped right back out to normal, but without this mag armor, I don't even want to think what it would have done to the paint. Take a look. It really protects against your regular pinstriping uh, from branches as well as those big gouges. The magnet also stayed on uh, going about 70-ish kilometers uh, an hour on the road as well. Now the cons. You must wash your truck before putting this stuff on. This might mean taking a bucket and some water and spending time at a trailhead if you have a bit to drive uh, to get there. It takes me 10-15 minutes to put this stuff on, uh, but it's super quick to peel off. However, if you are running with the crew, just make sure you show up a bit early, that way they're not waiting on you. And uh, the time it takes to make can also be a con, especially if you aren't uh, patient. Like I said, you can't buy the stuff already made for a truck. So is this worth the time, the effort, and the money? Look, if you're gonna go off-road, pinstriping is gonna happen. But this stuff will save the uh, majority of your paint from some pretty serious gouges, no question about it. And if you're running a, a ZR2, a Bison, a Tacoma, no matter what, even without all the fancy options, they're not cheap rigs. And personally, I'd like to keep this new truck as shiny as possible for as long as possible. So yeah. I'm happy I took the time to make it and uh, will continue to use it on those tight trails. And that's it. Comment down below if you have any uh, questions or suggestions. Hit that like and subscribe if you want to help this small off-road channel grow. And stay tuned for some more ZR2 and uh, Bison specific videos along with uh, some more general mud, rocks, and great times with great people. Cheers all.